get the cool shoe shine. Hi-Fi Men Edition S, sent to me by Hi-Fi Men, so they finally reached out and touched me. Hot. Portable. The website says on here. Total lie. Because there's the shape. Look at the shape. Wait, let me rotate. Let's rotate. Oh, no, 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 just that much. See the shape? With the down, with the earlobe, reminiscent of the Nighthawks. So, don't listen to them if they say on ear. They're over ear. They're actually very comfortable over ear. That is a full three knuckle. Remarkably comfortable. And small, I mean, like, here's the X1s. So, small, folding, carry case, detachable wire. I actually took these on vacation. Went to the Jersey Shore. Jersey. Threw them in their case. Threw a little hot two in there. Excellent. So these are 250 bucks. So they're competing with MSR7s, PSBM4Us, and all the other ones in that category, the Sony 1As, and they compete. They do compete. Now they're not planar. Hi-Fi Min is, as all of you know, a planar-based company. That's the reason that they exist, is because they make good cheap planars. They were the first to make good cheap planars. Put those back. So when they said, hey, we're going to send you our Edition S, I'm like, the what? And then they sent them, and I'm like, oh, they're not planars. They're, they're dynamic drivers. So what makes them unique? Well, they are closed. Or they're not. It's a metal plate, and the magnet of the actual driver... pops that on there. That does change the sound. The characteristics do change. And I'll do a little demo here. Oh, by the way, let me point something out. Here's the wire that the hi fi men came with. And it's... It's okay. It's a st oh, three and a half millimeter stereo plug. Thank you. Everything in this range, all these fashion cans seem to understand that this is a good thing. Comes with a clip, comes at a right angle four-way, comes with a uh, three-button with microphone wire. Great. I don't use it. Because it's, it's, I don't know, it's not terrible, but it's still, you know, screw it. I got better wires. So anyway, Status Audio, which everyone's been telling me to review a Status Audio product, and I finally got a shipping notification, sells a two-pack. This flat three-footer? ish and this flat red eight foot together in a pack for 10 bucks that i bought two i just kept buying like oh shit i need all of those so if you're inclined and i've been using them on my uh, x1s here and the adapters through my 600s and so on but now this is a one button with a microphone instead of a three button with a microphone and you don't have to change it out but i I prefer this wire. Did I go off on a tangent? What was I talking about? Oh. Easy to drive. And the sound difference between open and closed. Well, here, let's let's throw these on. Carrying case, by the way, is a cool egg shape, but you can keep it there. All right, the basic, and I've done obviously much more testing than that, but the basic change you get is the highs can get a little, little too sibilant with these on. Because there's no padding here, it's just literally blocking that. So, in public, we'll do a public test now. Here's you on a bus. Aren't you a handsome young man or woman? 
put it up to that, that's what I would consider loud so that's you listening on the bus So it's still audible, but I'd say it's half as audible. The leak. So the leakage cuts in half. Now you're thinking like, oh, is this a gimmick? Well, if you, if you are legitimately on a bus or in an office bothering people, you can slide these on. You'll have to deal with a slight raise and treble. The bass doesn't really change. It actually gets a little, little warmer when you pull them off. Just a little bit. That's because you're going from closed to open. So that seems like a good trade-off. Build. We'll get to the sound in a second. Build. Metal. These are obviously plastic. This is plastic. This headband is plastic. Not bad plastic. It just is plastic. It fits nice and snug against your head, which means this whole pad touches. And you can actually see they push that up a little bit so that the side pads have more of a chance of actually grabbing on. And since they do fold in, they are extremely portable. So they're extremely portable, extremely comfortable, efficient, and if I had to pick these or MSR7s, it's probably going to be these. Because they image better than the MSR 7s. MSR 7s are very good. Do not look at me like, like that face. Don't look at me with that face. They've been my default go to for portable stuff for a while now. But these. They touch in the same. With, with the covers off. We're going to judge them now with the covers off. We'll put the bus covers over here. Because you only really need to use those if you really need that 50% more blockage. I think they sound better all around with them off being open headphones as hi-fi means they should be expected but everything about these headphones makes them sound special kind of like what the porta pros did when you take the porta pros out and you're out in public and you're walking you're like wow these 40 dollar headphones sound amazing well you do the same thing only you go wow these 250 dollar headphones sound amazing and I don't believe they're this small. I don't think they look this good. Now, I don't know if you prefer them with the H on there or not with the H on there. But they're, they're, they're good-looking headphones. I mean, they don't look overly complicated and expensive. But they fit well. They're light-ish. This is metal, after all. But actually, it's metal around plastic. There's plastic in there. Yeah. These are my go-to travel headphones. I would get in a plane with them, because then I'd have to use them with the covers. But for just going somewhere, pulling them out when I have a free minute to listen to something, here you go. No need to change the pads. In fact, I don't even recommend pulling these pads off, because you'd have to change them with these exact pads. That's a big driver in there. It's so big. It actually extends under the pad. Soundstage has it has a, I won't even say it gets bigger when you take these off but I think closing it in makes it sound less impressive so again the, the covers you can use them try them see if they don't bother you maybe your genres of music are different than mine let's go back low end that's a terrible song for Low End. Find me a good song for Low End. All right, the word I'm going to use is clear and concise. It doesn't sound like there's a V-shape. It doesn't sound like there's a V-shape. It sounds like these are just right. I mean, it doesn't sound like there's much going on, but there is. You put these on your head. God damn it, Chewbacca. She's all over the place. Oh, those highs are so sweet. They'd be too sweet with these on, but they're just, 
just right and the imaging is just perfect. Can you hear them? Can you hear them playing? Yeah, vinyl rip. Every little piece of static comes through clear. So, chalk another one up to high fi men. They seem to know what they're doing now. I'm surprised it doesn't have a screw in coaxial connector. ZS approves. I mean, let me get to the questions. These are the Sony M1As, or whatever the hell the M1As is, just what I call them. Uh, I'd probably take these. I'm a little. I have a little bit of a highs fetish. A little bit. Two thousands up there. You know, they they are the high queens, and I love them. But then again, you got the X1s here, which are the low end queens. Everything's a queen. I wish. I wish. I had MSR 7s here to compare directly against because I'm going completely by memory. And I've, I remember those being the best closed headphones Audio Technica had played for me. And then that got sort of side seated by the Audio Technica ATH M40Xs, which for that price is ridiculous. But the fact that these are portable and open, see, that's, that, that's the one thing that is making these unique versus the MSR 7s. The PSBs, the Oppo PM3s, the damn it, that was that last one. Well, the Sony's is that you can go open, and open headphones will always, in my mind, sound better, just more natural and open and airy, like you could breathe in them. Like so, ah, ah. Very few headphones have I, that I've put on that are closed have been like, ooh, these are worth the closeness. The Alpha Primes, the Alpha Dogs, those Beardynamic uh, T5Ps, the Audio Technica M40Xs somehow are just like, wow, I don't believe these are so good. Closed. HM5s, although those were like the starter cam. Oh, an airplane adapter in case your airplane still uses this thing. I don't I don't think that matters. Time. Yeah. The comfort really blew my mind. The comfort. You look at them and go, those are tiny. They're gonna be on here? Nope. Fucking over ear. Full size they are as they are more over ear than many headphones that claim to be over ear. Look. Look at that hole. It's better shaped, too. I gamed in these. These game amazingly. You want to get a head... You want to get the, the uh, Boom Pro? I should have put the Boom Pro on this. Yes, you can Boom Pro this. And these would be the smallest, lightest, most foldable, portable gaming killer headphones ever. Or headset, once you're going to have the Boom Pro. Shop with confidence. Shop smart. Shop Z smart. There's only 15 left in stock. Order soon. Your mama's backing up outside. <laughs>